This is for you, Matthew. Before, all I had ever heard about psychiatric drugs from the media, at schools, in the doctor's office, was how safe and effective they were. You know, you feel sad and that means you have a chemical imbalance in the brain. Just take a pill and that will help even you out. No problem. But this certainly didn't happen in Matthew's case. Something was wrong with that story and I needed to find out what. But were there any professionals who could tell me what's really going on? Dr. David Stein, a psychologist who has written many books and articles against the use of psychiatric drugs on children, agreed to talk with me. So I made the three-hour drive to see him. Tell me what brought you to drive all the way down here. Well, we uh, went to a doctor, a psychologist, okay. and my son was um, diagnosed with depression, and we were told that it was be caused by a chemical imbalance. Um, is there such a thing as a chemical imbalance in the brain that can cause um, psychological problems? No, actually, that's one of the misstatements of uh, disinformation or misinformation that's coming out. And unfortunately, I think a psychologist believes there's a chemical imbalance, and a lot of people do, the psychologists, the educators, the psychiatrists certainly accept it, and now pediatricians are accepting it. It is not caused by chemical imbalance. And what makes me angry is so many of the doctors are just buying into that. It's just not true. There's no test or anything that could have been done to determine that. Am I right? They claim that they found this chemical imbalance or that anatomical problem or anomaly with the brain or nervous system. And yet, if you were to send your child to a lab to have the chemical tests done on his blood or urine, they would look at you like you're insane because it can't be done. So what they claim is an imbalance cannot be measured by any laboratory or urine tests or PET scans or CAT scans. None of it can be replicated at the clinical level. And there are about a thousand claims that come out every year where they think they've found the cause of depression or ADD or bipolar disorder. None of it is true. Does that answer your question, Celeste? Yes. I okay. Think so I feel that if I had known better, if I'd had the information in front of me to make a decision, he would never have been on that drug to be to be honest, it never would have been on the drug. And I believe we would have worked it through. So I feel, I feel to blame. You feel guilty? I do. I think I'll always feel that way. You did not let your son down. You were an honest parent, honestly seeking help for your son who was having some trouble. And if you went to the bookstore, the books would say the same thing the same garbage would be inundated through all the bookshelves. So you'd pull one book after another book after another book, and all you would get is chemical imbalance or a neurological disorder and all this, and they need the drugs, and the drugs and therapy, the combination is the way to go. You would have gotten it from everywhere you would have looked, except the very few scholars around the nation and the world that are fighting this and we're a rare breed. We read deep into literature. You're not at fault, Celeste. I think your attitude will change, but right now, the prevailing and pervasive attitude is what you walked into. It makes me angry. I feel anger at hearing your story. Dr. Stein, thank you so much. God bless you, and uh, I'll help you any way I can. <laughs>